one back then, it was a whole nother essence to it, you know, a whole nother essence. So, so when did it turn into just a hobby to where you start getting paid? It was like when you start dealing with rappers or was you getting paid for gigs before then or? When I, uh, when I realized it was serious, bro, uh, honestly, I was DJing at a club called LA Live, you hear me? And uh, my partner owned the club and he was like a family best friend. <laughs> and uh, make a long story short, this is the night Tupac performed. And In Baton uh, Rouge? Yeah. And I did the set. And uh, they had a sound check. And when we was there for the sound check, they had the food, the hors d'oeuvres, everything in the corner. But I still had to, by me being a DJ, I still had to play music. I was still working. In the process of me being there, they wanted to do their set, which consists of records. So the first thing Tupac walked up to me and said, I'll never forget him and the nigga Big Cycles together. And the first thing that boy said to me was, uh, say, man, they got, you got Who's the Man soundtrack? And I'm like, yeah, I got to be that. Remember that Ed Love and Dre movie, Who's the Man? Okay, it was a book, Go Go Do Your Home. It's a movie called Who's the Man? That boy walked up to me and said, man, they got this fat motherfucker named Big out of New York. I be fucking with that bitch about to be the next shit out here. Called Paul and Bullshit, play that bitch for me. And went on the floor and banged that bitch out. They was in that bitch dancing. About a year later, the pig ear got beef started. I said, that shit was real. I'm saying that to say, that's when I realized how serious this shit was with on all aspects of it. Money, this shit, that shit. And I'm like, oh shit, I'm in the midst of seeing some shit. And I'm a lit nigga from Baton Rouge that nobody wouldn't even believe if I tell them. It's the first thing the motherfucker told me. You know what I'm saying? And I thought back years later, I said, oh, man, them niggas really was cool. Them niggas really was friends. This nigga was in Baton Rouge and asked me to play big and shit. True story. History. True story. But I did the nigga sit. Now, then he rocked that bitch, even though he got shot at that night. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to don't, let's try to get it that out. Because me and him just talking over shit. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not my me and you talk, you know what I'm saying? Come on, man, we got to get into it. I don't want to go saying that, bro. I don't want to influence the cherry like that, man. I got grandbabies now, man. Come on, man. <laughs> but yeah, bro, true, true story, bro. True story. I got some more shit. We ain't going to say it on camera. I got some shit to tell you about that, motherfucker. We used to have some fun in that motherfucker.